Of course, now my uh, first guest from the films Boogie Nights, Drugstore Cowboy, and Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Her latest film, which opens tomorrow, is The Guru. Please welcome Heather Graham. Welcome to our show. Thank you. I, I want to be in the Winnebago. Hi. Yeah, roller girl. Uh, roller girl. Okay. Cool. <laughs> We're going to hose them down soon. Uh, what is that? You wanted to be... Uh, the Winnebago looked fun. It would have been more fun with you, you in it. Let me tell Winnebago. you. If I knew you were up for a Winnebago ride, yeah. trust me, you'd have been there in a second. Okay. But I think this is a little more civilized. Yeah. It's, it's nice here. And, you know, uh, congratulations, I guess. You are now a... A New Yorker, is that right? You own an apartment here. Yeah, I, I just got an apartment here, and uh, yeah. welcome, welcome to our thank wonderful you. city. Thank you, thank you. You know what's what's tough is that when when people come from anywhere else in this country and get an apartment in New York, they think it's going to be like Friends. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And <laughs> there's not an apartment in New York like the one the Friends people have. Yeah. Is yours like the kind of, is it a friend's apartment? No, but I have, okay, I have a great view of the mm -hmm. apartment building next to me. So there's amazing, like, watching of other apartments, and there's a naked computer guy. There's a naked guy just like Friends. Yeah, yeah, but he's not actually really fat, right? Because in Friends, it's like ugly, fat, naked guy. Something like right? that, yeah. And in my apartment, I just have naked computer guy. Like, he's always at his computer writing naked. Um... <laughs> so he's completely naked. Let me just set the scene. Yeah. He's completely it's a side view. I have a side view. Naked That's probably side better. View. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> um, well, we wait for him to get up because, like, when my friends are over, we really have fun, like, looking in all the windows, and we just wait for him to stand. This up. guy would be thrilled if he knew that you. <laughs> if he knew that you were yeah. watching. Yeah. You know, that would be. I mean, you should email him and just watch his reaction. You know. Yeah. He hasn't been oh, there. good lord! Oh, lord! He hasn't been there for a while, so I'm kind of disappointed. This now guy has a huge hold over you, doesn't he? Are there a lot of other naked yeah. people in other windows, or is he the only naked person? Well, there's person? some old naked people. There's an old naked couple, and then we've seen, like, couples... We don't need to hear about that. <laughs> and I saw a girl getting ready in a towel. Okay, yeah. now you're talking. <laughs> so, so you're just watching... I just love this. You're this big yeah. movie star, you're extremely attractive, and you're staring out your window watching uh, other naked people. You're making me feel really perverse. You yeah. are perverted. <laughs> I'm making, you're making me sound like a pervert. I just sit at my window and watch naked people. And they don't know I'm watching them, and I invite friends to watch also. I'm sorry. Now... That apartment. I mean, I'm sure you're uh, you're off all the time doing movies and traveling. Who did you have people that look after your apartment when you're not there? Cause... Yeah, I have these really amazing two cleaning guys. Their names are Clovis and Gilson. And when I first met them, I thought they were French because they're very like yes, we clean and da -da -da -da. like they're so like you know incredibly cultured and right, stuff. Right. Right. And they come over and they basically they take all their clothes off, except for their boxers, their their t-shirt and socks, and they clean my apartment. Back this. <laughs> but the thing is, like, they Back are this really, whole thing okay, up. Right. You hire these two guys that sound like a magic act yeah. to come and clean your apartment, and then they take their clothes off? Why do they take their clothes They're off? They're very thorough. They feel like they can clean better that way. They clean I better. I think this is happening just for you. Is my... No, 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 no. They're but we really... do this for everyone. <laughs> no, no, no. They're really into, like, there's a sunbathing roof across from me, and then there's two guys that are really cute, I guess, that come out sunbathing. And as soon as they come over, they run to see if the guys are sunbathing. And this if they're not, they're This is Pervert Central out. at your apartment. <laughs> they're, they're naked in other apartments. The cleaning people are naked at your apartment. Everyone's they're watching everyone else. They're wearing shorts, boxers. <laughs> but I don't understand the logic of this okay. helps us clean more thoroughly. <laughs> You still lost me there. I don't no, think no, they no. have a good reason. They're really good. They're really. Good. But then, see, I'm out of town a lot, and they said to me the other day, they're like, "Do you have any other people you know that are always out of town so that we can clean their apartment?" In our boxer <laughs> Every, shorts. Yeah, when they're out of town. Yeah. So I guess it's easier. Yeah. If you're not home. <laughs> I don't want to meet these people. No way. You need it. They're really good. I think you should use them. I will use like them, them here on the show. You should. They can be cleaning and naked in the background <laughs> while we're. Good job, Siegfried and Roy. You've done a nice. <laughs> You now, should call them. I'm serious. I'm giving you their number. It's not going to happen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, I understand, speaking of going out of town, you went to India not too long ago and took a trip to India. I did. I've never been to India. I would love mm -hmm. to go to India. Mm -hmm. w what was it like over there? What 
Well, I'm into lots of new agey things, so I had this idea, I'm going to go to India and I'm going to have this spiritual epiphany, my life will make sense, and right. then I went and I got sick, basically. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So not. So what do you do when you're sick? Were you watching TV there? Were you? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I was watching MTV, and it's much more conservative there. MTV India? Yeah. Okay. MTV India, or MTV Asia, maybe it's called MTV Asia. But um, <clears throat> it's so much more innocent, and every now and then they'll throw in like a... Kylie Minogue or Beyonce knows will throw in like a, an American video and you'll just be like, whoa, like they're just so much more sexy, the American videos. I mean, their videos over there are just about like fully clothed people singing yeah, a song seated, clothed. you yeah. know. They'll and be not... holding like an ice cream cone and they'll like, they'll put their arms around you, they'll be like licking it and looking at each other like, like kind of like, hee hee, you know, they like giggle a I kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's sweet. Uh, they're sweet. And then, and then an American video comes on, and there's no such thing as a, as a music video anymore where people aren't rubbing their, your, their bodies and their private areas. Like, no matter what the song's about, the song could be about tax reform, and they're <laughs> touching know. themselves all I over. Know. I know, like, I was watching Can't Get You Out of My Head. I've been watching all these Indian videos, and I watched that, I was like, whoa, man, because, like, that's a right. like, pretty sexy video, like, right. compared to... Yeah. Well, this movie, The Guru, uh, mm -hmm. actually has a sort of a tie-in with, with, with India, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Tell us what the yeah. movie's about. <clears throat> well, it's about an Indian guy, and he comes to America to be a movie star like John Travolta in Greece. He loves the movie Greece. And he can't get any jobs, so he ends up working at an Indian restaurant. And then he gets this opportunity to pose as a guru of sexual healing. And I play this girl that seems like a... I'm kind of <clears throat> seem a little bimbo-ish, but I say these really deep spiritual things about sexuality. Mm -hmm. So he steals what I say and uses it in his act. Uh, and we have a clip here. What do we need to know to understand this? He's having a fantasy sequence. He, he, he achieves this really high level of celebrity as like a Deepak Chopra of sexual healing. And right. he has a fantasy sequence of seeing this movie from his childhood, a Bollywood film, which is like an Indian music like what we were talking about mm -hmm. and then he, he fantasizes me into it so this is his fantasy sequence yeah and he loves the movie Grease so he's worked yes. that in uh -huh. let's take a look at this clip okay. from the guru I've got a jewel there, too. Really? I'd like there. to see that. You want to see the jewel in my belly yeah. button? <laughs> well, <laughs> I better get one in there quick. Uh, <laughs> the Guru okay. opens uh, tomorrow. Heather Graham, thank you so much for being here. Thank That's you. Really cool to have you here. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. Sam Rockwell coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Don't miss Toyota's full lineup of SUVs, like Toyota Highlander, the best mid-size sport utility vehicle in initial quality, or the all-new 4Runner, Truckin's SUV magazine SUV. I'm, I'm sorry if I've seemed a little out of it tonight.